This dinosaur fossil was nicknamed Hellboy, apparently, because its excavation was particularly difficult. But the actual name of the animal that it belongs to is quite a contrast to that. For day 21 of Night November, we're talking about Regaliceratops, which means royal horn face, both because its frill kind of looks like a crown, and also because it was the paleontology team at the Royal Terrell Museum in Alberta, Canada, that excavated, prepared, described, and named the first and only specimen so far found of this dinosaur. Regaliceratops was a beautiful member of the horned and frilled dinosaur group, the Ceratopsians, and it grew to about 16 feet long. But what makes Regaliceratops particularly interesting is how it fits into the rest of the Ceratopsian family tree. Generally, there's two big groups of Ceratopsians, the Chasmosaurines and the Centrosaurines. And one of the superficial ways to usually be able to tell them apart, at least the later members of each group, is that the Chasmosaurines tend to have much longer brow horns compared to a shorter nose horn, and the centrosaurines have a longer nose horn compared to shorter brow horns. And especially the chasmosaurines at the very last part of the Cretaceous, which is called the Maastrichtian, very much seem to fit into the long brow horn, short nose horn style, except for Regaliceratops, which has the opposite proportions. And so that makes it stand out among its very closest relatives and makes it a case of convergent evolution with much less closely related ceratopsians. Now let me know what other dinosaurs you want to learn about during Dinovember, especially if you recommend some kind of stegosaur, since we haven't done one of those yet this year.